Hey everyone, my name is Olaf and today I'll show you how to make this exact animation in Blender using Armature. As always, it's going to be quick and easy, so uh, let's get started. Okay, so let's start off by switching from Blender Render to Cycles Render for better shading and I click X to delete the default cube. Then let's go into File and um, click Import and then import the object file that you can download in the description. So let's just find it and then open the file. And as you can see, we now have the huge stick figure inside Blender. So click S to uh, scale it down. And what I'm going to do next is to move the origin point to the middle of the stick figure. So click spacebar and then search for origin. And there you'll find it and origin to geometry. And then we need to move the stick figure to the right position. So click number one, then number five. Then click G and then X to grab it on the X axis and then G, then set to grab it on the set axis and I want to move it right above the x-axis line. Okay, so let's add the armature and left click in the private area of the stickman, click Shift A and add armature single bone. And then let's go into the bone settings and enable X-ray, which means that you can see the armature through the uh, figure. So let's go into edit mode and start editing the armature. Okay, so click G, then set to uh, scale it down or to grab it down on the set axis. And then we need to extrude, so click E, then set to extrude on the set axis. And we're just going to repeat this process until we have all the bones we need. So click E again, and then set to extrude on the set axis. And then let's do it one more time for the head, so E, then set on the set axis. Okay, so number three to go to the side view and let's select all of the bones. B to box select, then click G, then Y to grab them on the Y axis. And then let's adjust the bones individually. So select the end of each bone to adjust it, then click G, then Y to grab it on the Y axis. Let's do the same for the last bone, G, then Y to grab it on the Y axis. And now it's time to add the legs. So click number one to go to the front view, and then left click to move the 3D cursor. And I click Shift A and you will automatically get a new bone. Okay, then let's grab the top and click G, then set to grab it on the set axis. And what I'm going to do is to add two main bones for the legs and then one bone for the foot. So uh, click E to extrude. Let's add the second bone for the leg. And then left click to confirm the position of the extrusion. And then let's go to the side view and uh, grab the bones on the y-axis first before we adjust them. So G, then Y, to grab them on the y-axis. Then let's grab this one on the y-axis. This one a little bit forward and this one a little bit forward as well before we extrude. So click E to extrude. And then left click to confirm the position. Okay, so now we have the leg and now it's time to add the arm. So click number one to go to the front view and then left click to move the 3D cursor and then click Shift A to add a new bone. Let's grab it and then extrude, E to extrude and then extrude one more time for the hands. We're not going to animate the individual fingers because this is a short tutorial. And now we need to adjust each bone so that it fits the arm. So uh, just make sure it looks right from all angles, even the top view. So click number 7 for the top view and then let's go back to the front view. And now it's time to select the whole arm. So click A, then B to box select. And then click Shift D, then S, X, then minus one to make a duplication that has the mirrored rotation of the other arm. And then click G, X to grab it on the X axis. And then we need to make sure that the bones fit the arm. So just adjust the bones until it fits. And then we can add the second leg. So click B to box select. Oops. Okay, and I click Shift D, then S, X, then minus one to uh, make a duplication for the uh, other leg as well. And then left click to confirm the position on the X axis. The next step is to select these three bones and then click Control P to set the legs parent to the rest of the body and click keep offset and then do the same for arms so hold in shift then select the chest bone and then click ctrl p 
And then once again, select Keep Offset so that you don't mess up the order of the bones. Okay, so now we have the basic rigging. So let's go back to object mode and set the body parent to the armature. So select the body first, then hold in shift and select the armature, then click control P and then select with automatic weights. And that way you don't have to add the weight paint manually to the uh, object. So let's go to post mode and you will now be able to make a very limited animation using this rig. So you can rotate the arms, the legs, the head and the body, but you can't really make it walk yet. So that's for another tutorial. But in this very quick and simple tutorial, we're going to uh, make the best of what we have. So let's just save it before we start animating the uh, figure. So just give it a name. I'm just going to call it one. And uh, now it's time to start animating. So let's go to the post mode. And uh, we can start off by animating the legs. So uh, to animate it, select the lower leg. Then let's go to frame 10. Click N to make the coordinates and rotation show up. And then click I to keyframe the value. So let's go 10 frames forward. And then let's rotate the leg. So click R, then X to rotate it on the X axis. And as you can see, the foot is going upwards. And then left click to confirm and click I to keyframe. So let's move forward again. And let's rotate it back. So click R, then X to rotate it back on the x-axis and around here and then click I to keyframe and now we'll do the same for the other body parts and it's not going to be very complicated so just do whatever you like with the uh, figure because um, I'm just rotating random parts so I to keyframe let's set the head back to the original position and I click I to keyframe as you can see we now have a leg animation and a head animation I'm going to do the same rotation on the x-axis for the other leg. And then let's rotate the upper body on the z-axis. Click R, then set to rotate it on the z-axis. And then click I to keyframe the rotation on the z-axis. Then I'm going to ro rotate the uh, rotation of the arm as well. And at the end of the animation, I'm just going to rotate all of them back to the original position. And now that the animation is done, we can go to the next part, which is to left click below the foot and add a plane which is the floor so click S to uh, scale it up left click to confirm the scale and then let's select the lamp and add some light to the scene add sun and change the size to 1 and then click use nodes and change the strength to 7 to make the lighting stronger in the scene Okay, G to grab and R to rotate the sun. Now, let's see what it looks like in rendered view. So click shift set to go into rendered view. Let's start adding the materials. So uh, select the figure first and delete the material. Add a new one, make it a glossy material, increase the roughness to 0.4. And then let's make the character blue. Then select the floor, new material glossy and I'm going to set this one to a dark blackish color and then the roughness to about 0.1 or 2 then for the world settings I'm also going to make the background or the world dark so numpad 0 to see through the camera click shift F to use the fly cam and then move around with W, A, S and D just like in a video game now let's just make a few more adjustments before we go into the final render settings so uh, if you want to use the GPU, you can also use the GPU. If you don't have a GPU, you can just use the CPU as the device. But I'm also going to add a subdivision surface modifier for the uh, character. And then add smooth shading so that the character looks better and smoother. So uh, let's select the camera once again and just move it a bit. I think this position is better. So uh, let's go into the render settings. So we'll click the camera icon. And then I'm going to change the end frame to around 100 because this is a short animation. Then increase the resolution quality to 100% and then the FPS to 30 for a better frame rate. And for the output, I would recommend either MP4 or PNG for the render. I usually use PNG, but that's for another tutorial. So high quality. And then let's scroll down to the sampling 
and for the sampling I'm going to set it to around 200 which I think is good enough and then if you have a GPU I would also recommend going into performance and increasing the size of the tiles which is greatly going to increase the render speed and then I will make one final save before I start rendering out the animation so just save it I'm going to call this one 2 and then click animation to render it and that's it if you enjoyed the tutorial make sure to like and subscribe and I will post a new tutorial next week so thanks for watching